I'm Lo Faber, and I teach in the History Department and in the Music Industry Studies program. And I am from New Jersey, and I originally spent 15 years in a rock band called God Street Wine. Uh, and we made albums for major labels. We toured for about 10 years. And after doing that for 15 years, I decided it was time to do something different. And I went back, finished my college degree, and went right into a PhD program in history at Princeton. In the history department, I teach uh, early American history. I teach an advanced course in revolutionary America, the American Revolution. I teach the modern global history survey, which is all the entire world from 1500 to the present in one semester. And I teach a course I've developed called The Rise of Global Capitalism, uh, which is about the world capitalist economy uh, from the 16th century to the present. And in music industry, I teach the Introduction to Music Industry Studies, and I'm developing two courses, uh, in one in the history of the music business and one in the history of music technology. I love history because it's who we are. It's, 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 I, I love trying to understand the world that we live in. Uh, how, do, how did we get here? Uh, I think any person who's curious wants to know that. Uh, everything we understand, whether it's politics, art, music, science, it all has a history. It's a way of, it's a way of encountering the world. It couldn't become a music industry uh, until the development of an industrial economy. And that's still the world that we live in. Uh, it's, the, it's the melding of these two things, our love for music and how music affects us and makes us feel that life has joy and meaning, and our existence in this democratic capitalist system that we live in. How do those two things work together? That's what I'm fascinated by about the music industry, and that's what we try to understand in the history course. You're going to be a freshman in music industry studies, and you're going to be challenged by this very demanding course that asks you to do two things. Asks you to learn in traditional fashion about the shape of the music business. Record companies, publishing, uh, management, and all sorts of other issues. At the same time, you're asked to participate with five or four or five other students in a group production company uh, uh, learning in a completely different way, learning by doing. Uh, and putting together a creative project, working with an outside artist, uh, dividing yourselves up into roles, uh, and working together and overcoming all the obstacles that, o that, that are faced by production companies in the real world. When I was a musician, my audience was largely a college audience, and I spent a lot of time playing colleges. Uh, so in a way, what I do as a professor hasn't changed that much. I'm still standing in front of college students I think when I perform music, it's, it's kind of the same thing as when I'm standing in, in front of a classroom. I'm still trying to communicate with people. I'm still looking at the back of the classroom and wondering who's paying attention, just as I am when I'm, when I'm playing in a theater. I'm still looking at that guy in the back row and thinking, how can I reach him? I think there is a culture of creativity at Loyola, and I see it over and over again with my students. Uh, uh, they always surprise me. And, and in my history classes, I've started encouraging my students to do something creative with the assignment. Uh, make it yours. I don't want a generic history paper in a, in a textbooky scholarly voice. I want it in your voice. And, and I'm responding to the culture of the students when I do that, because when I do that, they do better work. I think that Loyola, uh, uh, in the music industry studies program, gives you two things at once, really, a chance to, to uh, study the music industry in great detail and prepare for a career in that, while simultaneously getting a great college education, a liberal arts ed education at a very strong uh, college.